Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Pocket. Myself Srilatha. In this video, I am going to explain charge on polyatomic ion. Let's start the class. Suppose, let us take the example as a nitrate ion as NO3, SO4 and PO4 like this ions. So, students may get confused in writing the charge on on polyatomic ion whether they write minus 1 or minus 2 or minus 3. So, students will get, will get like this doubts. So, don't worry, I am here to clear your doubts. So, without any calculations, we can easily identify the charge present on polyatomic ion. Just remember the group number of that element which is present in the polyatomic ion. Okay, so it is a very easy trick. So, don't skip the video. Please watch the video till to the end. So, at the end of this video, I am going to explain some uh, one exception case in this video. Okay, in this case, sorry, in this case, suppose take NO3. So, whether the whether it may contain minus 1 charge or minus 2, let us see how we can find. So, to find the charge on polyatomic ion, first of all, I have to remember the group numbers of that atoms which are present in polyatomic ion. So, what is, the, what is an element present here? Nitrogen. So, nitrogen is belongs to the 15th group. So, 15 is an odd number. Okay, first identify whether it is belongs to which group and what is that number whether it is an odd number or even number next oxygen so oxygen belongs to 16th group so it is an even number so when one odd and one even number came comes means we should write minus 1 as its charge minus 1 so no3 carries minus 1 charge so nitrate ion is nothing but no3 minus suppose take bro3 one more example is BrO3. So, in this one, bromine is an halogen. It is nothing but 17th group. 17 is an odd number. And oxygen is belongs to 16th group. So, it is an even number. So, one odd and one even means what charge we have to write here? Minus 1. So, write minus 1. So, minus 1. Okay. Let us take one more example as CrO4. CrO4. So, it is belongs to D block elements. This chromium is belongs to D block element. The atomic number of chromium is 24. So, the group number is 6. It is belongs to 6th vertical column of the modern periodic table. So, chromium is 6th group element. It is nothing but it is an even number. And oxygen 16th group. It is also an even number. So, even, even. It is nothing but what I have to write? Minus 2. See here. If one odd and one even means we have to write minus 1 as its charge and one uh, so 2 even means we should write minus 2 as its charge. CrO4 minus 2 and also take SO4, SO4 sulfate ion. So here both are belongs to the same group 16, 16 is nothing but even number, even number. So both are even means what charge you have to write minus 2. Let us see here. Sulfur is belongs to 16th group and oxygen also belongs to 16th group. So, even number, even number. So, it is nothing but what is the charge? Minus 2. So, SO4 minus 2. SO4 minus 2. Next, suppose take ClO. 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 So, here chlorine is belongs to 17th group. Oxygen belongs to 16th group. It is nothing but one even. Sorry, one odd. And 16 is an even. Odd and even means what charge you have to write? Minus 1. So, CLO minus. CLO minus. Next, one more example. Suppose take MnO4. MnO4. So, in this, manganese belongs to 7th group. It is nothing but odd number. And oxygen belongs to 16th group. It is an even number. Even and odd means what charge you have to write here? Minus 1. So, MnO4 minus 1. Let us take one more example as C2O4. C2O4. So, in this C2O4, what is in carbon group number? So, carbon is belongs to 14th group. Oxygen belongs to 16th group. So, even number, even number. So, two even numbers means what charge you have to write? Minus 2. Minus 2. Suppose take Cn. 
C N. So here carbon is belongs to fourteenth group. Nitrogen is belongs to fifteenth group. So even number, odd number. So one even and one odd means what charge you have to write here minus one. Minus one. Next, suppose take H C O three. H C O three. So in this one hydrogen. What is the atomic number of hydrogen? One. Carbon is belongs to fourteenth group. Oxygen is belongs to sixteenth group. So one means odd number, and fourteen and sixteen are the even numbers. So one odd and even even means what charge you have to write here minus one only. If any one of the atom is belongs to odd number group means that polyatomic ion may get minus one as its charge minus. One as its charge. Okay, if all are even number means we can write as a minus two. If any one of the atom is belongs to odd number or no, odd number as its group, odd number as its group number means we should write minus one. Okay, so in this way we can write the charges on the polyatomic ions. So now let's see the exceptional case. One exceptional case is there in this one. So take PO four. PO four. So in this PO four, phosphorus is belongs to fifteenth group and oxygen is belongs to sixteenth group. So odd and sixteen is an even number. So one odd and one even number means what charge you have to write here minus one. But instead of minus one, what you have to write here minus three. So that's why I told it is an exceptional case. So for PO four only, this rule is not applicable for any. Atom, sorry, for any ion, that means any polyatomic ion, we can follow this trick to write the charges on that polyatomic ion. Okay, for PO four only, minus three will comes. Let us see the. Now let us see the quick recap of this class. Okay, so to identify the charge on polyatomic ion, first of all, we have to know the group number. That means here we are not doing any additions or subtractions. Just we are remembering the. Group number of that elements or atoms present in a polyatomic ion. So first, in the first example, see here nitrogen is there. So nit N O three. So nitrogen is belongs to fifteenth group and oxygen is belongs to sixteenth group. One is odd number and another one is an even number. Odd and even comes means we should write minus one. Minus one as its charge. Okay, minus one. Next in this example, see here O four. So chromium is belongs to sixth group and oxygen is belongs to sixteenth group. So both are even numbers. So even number means what charge you have to write minus two. What number? What charge you have to write here minus two. Next, see here CLO. In the CLO also chlorine is belongs to seventeenth, oxygen is belongs to sixteenth. Our number even number. So minus one. Next C two O four. So carbon fourteenth group. Oxygen sixteenth group. So even even is that one minus two. Both are even numbers means we should write minus two. Minus two. Next in Br O three. So bromine seventeenth group. Oxygen sixteenth group. E odd number even number minus one. S O four. So both are belongs to sixteenth group. So both are even numbers minus two. And M N O four. M N O four. Manganese seventh group and oxygen sixteenth group. So odd and even is nothing but minus one. H C O three. In this H C O three, that means if more than two atoms are present, two different atoms are present in the polyatomic molecule means. So uh, if any one of the atom is contains odd number as its group number means. The charge on the atom we can we can write it as a minus one. Okay, so here hydrogen one and it is an odd number. Carbon even number, oxygen even number. So because of having of an one odd number, this polyatomic ion contains minus one charge. Okay, and one exceptional case is there in this one. What is that? PO four. So for PO four for phosphorus. Is phosphorus is belongs to fifteenth group odd number and oxygen is belongs sixteenth. It is nothing but even number. So one odd and one even means we have to write minus one. But instead of minus one, we are writing minus three. So it is an exceptional case. That means this rule is not applicable for this phosphate ion. And we can apply this rule for any ion to write their charges. To write their charge. Okay. So here we are not doing any calculations. Just we are identifying the group numbers of the elements or atoms present in the polyatomic ion. So I am sure within ten seconds we can easily write the charge on polyatomic ion. Okay, this is today's class.
Thank you.